Guys, this is going to be a short and sweet video just showing you briefly how to use bushes in this game. Um, on Ghost Town specifically, there's a whole bush line that runs down the east portion of this map. And I'm starting this video three minutes into this game, an average game on Ghost Town. We're in the T-54 Lightweight, and there's a Fosh sitting right over here. I'm going to draw it on the map just so you guys can get a better understanding of where this guy is. He's sitting in this bush line right here. Now, I'm noticing that all my team is here. There's nobody that's going to spot me in this area, obviously. I'm going to take a, a slight risk and hope that a tank doesn't poke out right in this little corner, like right here. It would be really rare for a tank to do that. And most people are spotted on the map. Like we have another Fosh that's unlit and a Leo 1 and a Su-130 and a Scorpion. So nobody that I suspect is going to be out in this area. The only question mark is the T-49 and the T-49 had just got spotted going back up this way. So my decision in this particular, at this particular moment was to run this way. And you'll see me here run this way, hope that the T-49 wasn't quite on his way back yet, and get into the bush line right here. And if I use the bush line appropriately in order to maximize my concealment value, right, uh, my camo value, I can run right through the middle of the bush line. Even with the T-54 lightweight being kind of a fat boy, you know, I like to call it a fat boy, but you can run through this bush line, keep yourself relatively concealed, and now watch what happens here. I'm going to pause right here. The T-49 does not have Commander's Vision System. This is why running Commander's Vision System is vital on tanks where you're going to be running through bush lines, guys. Light tanks. You can run them on mediums, though. That's why I emphasize light tanks. But look at this, guys. Even if you're playing in a Borisk or something, you might do this. But if this guy had CVS at this distance, look at my proxy. It should be 50 meters. This guy might be 70 meters away or something like that. And I stop. I stop immediately because I'm like, oh my god, I'm probably lit here. Would you believe that I am not spotted here? The T-49 has really good view range too, but this guy is not running Commander's Vision System. I've spotted the, the Scorpion here. I don't know if we lit the Fosh or not, but this is how you guys can use bushes and Commander's Vision System to your advantage. And then you can get really fancy with the bushes and you can keep bushes in between you and tanks that you spot, right? in order to um, basically maximize your camo value. Now, watch what I start doing here. I'm gonna poke up again because now I know, right, that I have the T-49 outspotted in this area. So I'm gonna be a little more confident. I'm gonna poke up through the bush, but I'm gonna make sure that I am keeping a full set of bushes so that it's it's maximizing my, my camo value here in this area like this. You wanna be completely concealed and you can always stop the replay, rather, stop your game like just pause for a second and if you're in a bush i always do this when i get in a bush to see what the enemy is going to see i want to make sure they see nothing right i just want to see the little outline of my tank so now i poke this again and i'm confident right because we spotted the t-49 once before we were like 70 meters away from him we still are and we're not getting spotted so now i'm going to get a little risky here i'm going to keep poking until i light him again and just sit still right and the t-49 gets eliminated so this is how you can kind of use all this to your advantage, guys. Now watch, Scorpion is sitting here. I'm like, man, I'd love to get an HE shell into this guy's um, turret. But we have a problem here, right? We have the Progetto over here. There might even be someone in this area. I'm not certain. It could be like a Leo or something, right? There's still people unlit on the map. But what I'm actually going to do is come out of the bush line like this. And now, if you can see it from, from my view here, you can see that I am basically concealed everywhere, right? The only opening currently is on this Progetto. So as I continue kind of trying to use the bushes to my advantage, you're gonna see me kind of pull into this area and eventually I'm gonna start taking shots at the Scorpion G because I want to start using my gun in this game. We're getting five minutes into the game now and the game is pretty close. I want to start using my gun. So watch, I'm gonna back into the bush line like this. I'm going to go all the way through. I'm going to try and relight everybody here. The Scorpion eventually will try to run, and that's when we're finally going to get shots into this guy. Now, I'm currently spotting the Progetto 54 in the AE Phase 1, so I'm not in any rush. Um, but T50, this guy says, T-54, if you're feeling adventurous, um, you can distract the Fosh. And I said, no way, man. Like, there's way too much crossfire right now. But then these guys kind of go down. The AE Phase um, 
actually moves up a bit. And now watch what I'm going to do here. I'm taking shots at the scorpion, but look at, look at my view right now. You can see that I have bushes in between me and the scorpion. I have bushes between me and anybody who might be in this area. This is the only question mark is this corner right here. So it's a little risky. And now that the AE phase has moved on, right? And if I really wanted to get creative, I could just back like all the way out to here or something and try and put bushes in between me and this area too. But as long as you have like bushes that are not see-through, right? In between you and the person you're shooting and anyone that might spot you, so this is important to note. You can't just put bushes in between you and the person you're going to shoot. You need to put bushes in between you and anyone that solid bushes. Okay, guys, 15 meters away between you and any possible enemies. Now, I didn't think anyone was here. I thought at most maybe someone creeped up up to like this line or something like that because the Leo was spotted again going back this way. So I am taking a little bit of a risk, but watch how I'm able to make this work, guys. I'm able to shoot an HE shell into the Scorpion G and we're not lit here. And this is how you, again, you can use bushes to your advantage. Again, I'm gonna put one into his turret there and we destroy the Scorpion G, guys. And that's all I really wanted to show you in this game, just getting very, very fancy with my bush work, right? That's what I call it, bush work. And eventually we're gonna come up here, we're gonna, you know, smack a, S, uh, a shot into the SU. We're still gonna get some shots into the Leo here. I go after the Leo at the very end of the game, I jump off the cliff here and I land on like the Skoda and it's, it's hilarious, man. But hey man, you gotta have fun at the end of the game, right? Iron Army is still around, Skoda flips me back over. They clean up the Iron Army and that's the game, guys. I don't have end plates for this one. I just wanted to show you how you can use bushes to your advantage in this um, game. In the, in the entire game of World of Tanks, not just on this map. And again, I'm gonna show you on the free replay camera just so you can get a better understanding of how this works. So again, if you're sitting in the bush line, right? It's very important to note if you're sitting in the bush line and you're sitting right here and the bushes are not see-through, in, in other words, you know, you're 15 meters back from the bushes and an enemy is here. So like if I was sitting maybe right here, I can easily take shots into this guy without getting lit, provided that there's enough room to do so, right? And what I mean by room is as long as there's like at least 100 meters, because if you're right next to someone... Like say I'm here and the, the enemy is right here. If you take a shot, likely you're going to get lit because your camo is still, you're, you're still losing your camo value, but you're not losing the camo value of the bush. So that's what's important to note. It's a lot of game mechanics stuff, guys, but I knew that where I was sitting, I was far enough away to be able to take shots at the scorpion that was running away. Now, if the bushes are not see-through, or I'm sorry, if they are see-through, this is where you have to be really cautious because you're going to lose the value. You're going to lose your concealment value, but you're also going to lose the bushes concealment value that you're in. And then your camo drops to almost zero, right? Like that's what I, on some light tanks, it might be as high as 10% after you fire to even 11, 12% maybe. But basically you have to treat it as if your camo is going down to zero because you're gonna get lit. I'm telling you, like all your camo value goes down. And unless you're 400 plus meters away from someone, like you're pretty much guaranteed to be spotted. So that's how you have to do it, guys. You gotta put the bushes so that they're solid, right? So that you're back 15 meters. Once you get back 15 meters, the bush will go solid as you saw, and you can take the shot. But it's not just the person you're shooting. Again, keep this in mind, it's whoever can light you, right? So if I'm sitting 15 meters away, let's just say I'm sitting right here, and I wanna take a shot at where the Scorpion G was going. Scorpion G was going this way. I wanna take my shot like this. Well, if there's someone sitting right here, right? There's no bush here, but imagine there was, let's just say, imagine there was a bush right here, right? And I'm still using that camo value, but once I shoot, because I'm not 15 meters away from this little bush line, We'll make a bush. This is our bush, guys. If I'm not 15 meters away from this bush, right, then the camo value on this bush goes down to zero. My camo value goes down to near zero. This person spots me, and now the scorpion can have shots at me too. So this is just to get you guys to kind of understand the game mechanics fully because it took me a while to completely understand what was going on with concealment and camo and all that view range, how commander's vision system worked, all that. I would urge you guys to even look at further videos to understand the game mechanics fully before you really try and experiment with doing things like this, but I hope that this helps you out guys and I hope it was clear. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below 
And that's all. I hope you enjoy, guys. I'll catch you for the next one. Take care now, and goodbye.